Hey, hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World. And um, what we're going to do this time is uh, I'm going to start a new series of tutorials about how to um, set up your own virtual radar server. Okay, what you see in the background is um, what I've got filtered out on my virtual radar server. I'm just showing military aircraft at the moment. Okay, and also on the top left, you can see what in a way I've got my um, radio. Okay, so. How on earth do we um, do all of this and get it all running and what I'm going to do is show you how to do it and uh, really it's five, five programs or five different things that you need. Okay, number one, virtual radar server. This is the server to go onto your uh, computer or laptop. Okay, download this particular from here, download the Windows install if that's what you're using. Number two, flight aware, join flight aware, okay. Email address, password, put all of that in by just clicking on join flight aware. That will take you to the join page, okay. That's simple enough. Once you've done that, scroll down via clicking on ADSB. That tab there. Notice that says Pi Aware because we're going to build a um, a Pi Aware, a Raspberry Pi. Okay. Scroll down. Two bits of software that you're going to need from this page are the actual software. It is just there. Download that and download this little program here. This utility which is um, a program to be able to um, send this software or should I say this actual image file so from this program it'll send the image file to an SD card okay next step get yourself one of these you might already already have one but it is Raspberry Pi. I recommend um, this particular one here because it has everything that you need. Basically, it's got your little mini computer, the micro SD card with an SD card reader, your power supply, and the little box for everything to go in dead easy to put together just snaps all together and the little computer goes inside that box okay that's everything that it comes with they're about 50 pounds okay get yourself one of those also I recommend these the actual um, USB dongles okay much better than the um, cheap um, TV dongles Get yourself one of these and um, you'll find that the range that you can pick up is just so much more superior. They are super, recommend them. So get yourself one of those and I recommend downloading this program called Putty. What Putty does, it gives you the opportunity to be able to connect directly to your Raspberry Pi so you can make configuration changes now I'm not going to go into what configuration changes are required at the moment and this is tutorial number one that will come in a later tutorial basically all I'm doing here is just showing you what you need get all of this together get it downloaded put it everything that you're downloading into one um, folder which is what I did here there we go I just called it Raspberry Pi so that you can instead of looking and hunting all over your computer right yes everything there is there that I need and you can just get straight on with getting everything um, installed okay so quick recap download virtual radar server sign up to flight aware download your two programs here okay I say two programs one of them is the actual um, software slash 
image file. Okay. Get yourself one of these. You will need one of these for sure, a USB stick. And you might already have one, but of course you're going to need an antenna. Okay. Um, just to let you know, these USB sticks, the connection on those um, are an SMA. And finally, you will need putty. Okay, right, so that's the um, five steps in this tutorial. Tutorial number two, I'll um, show you how to put everything together, how to get it installed. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget, um, to subscribe to Airshow World at the moment we have around about 400 different Airshow videos so when you're not playing around with your virtual radar server certainly check out some of my um, vi videos that um, I've done all the air shows and low flying aircraft and whatever else I'm sh sure you'll enjoy that okay thanks a lot for watching and um, we'll catch you on the next uh, tutorial thank you bye for now